The more I watch this show, the more I realize that reincarnated as a slime has basically just copied this show. Not copy, taken inspiration from, but there's a lot of similarities, right? Tomoe is pretty much Veldora, Weeb Dragon. We have a sanctuary, which is a Jura Forest. The Demiplane, Jura Forest. So what do we do? We collect, you know, the dwarves, Kaijin, to be our craftsmen, right? We got the orcs, or at least the goblins, they're gonna do the regular, you know, building this shit and stuff, you know? Like, we have a sanctuary to collect a bunch of monsters too. So that, you know, it's it's a paradise for monsters. Another similarity. So, like, there's a lot of things. It's not the same show. I'm not saying that Slime is copying Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy. But whenever I would just watch this, because we're watching these shows right now in tandem, I'm just like, wait, this is this is from Slime. Oh, wait, no, it's actually from Moonlit Fantasy. It's not a big deal. They're taking inspiration from each other and they're making kind of better for, you know, their own respective show. Which makes me kind of interested. What, do Demon Lords exist in this show? What about the church, right? Stuff like that. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, Otaku Shin is Tomoe. Black Spider, no consent. They said fuck consent and she sucked our essence out of him. I don't know, but Tio is. Tio from Arifurita is pretty much like this. Is there a character like this in uh, Slime? Who is super like masochistic in Slime like that? I don't think Shion's really like that. But in Arifurata, Tio is. And maybe in, you know, Konosuba, this is like darkness, yeah? You know, it's a, it's a bit different, right? Here we go. This girl was staring at us with the hood on when we entered this village. I don't trust her. Or maybe I should. Bro, why is she acting like this kid's fucking competing for Makoto? What the fuck? Be nicer. <laughs> you gotta make her cry! <laughs> Did she like that smack, though? She actually liked that smack. What a freak. What, what's the heart in your eyes like that for? She likes the abuse, too, though. Dude, we're straight up Komi from Komi Can't Communicate because, like, we can't say the words, right? So we're just fucking showing just, you know, written text here. We just communicate like that. Hmm? Yo, she's actually thinking the kid is competition. What the fuck? Another human? Did he set this kid up to do this? Are we getting set up? Maybe? Tomoe is also getting attacked right now. Alright, Tomoe is getting attacked in her wagon. I want to see her use her sword. Hmm. Uh, don't give me some dark human trafficking shit in Isekai. Yo, Isekai and slavery, they always do this shit. Hopefully it's not that. Or maybe she's getting forced to say these lies by that person that was like sneaking behind. Okay, here we go. Tomoe with the sword. Can she actually use it though? Okay, wait, is she actually gonna use the sword though? Because wouldn't it be hilarious? Because she's supposed to be just like weeb otaku, right? Who just loves Japanese samurai films. So either she actually learned how to use it watching movies, or she's just gonna punch them while holding the sword. Mm, oh, 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 okay, no, well, no, she's actually using it. That, that's a kick. That's a kick. Wait, hold, no, she still swung the sword though. Hold up, wait. <laughs> Come on, more sword. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> we didn't get to see him. Okay, that's kind of cool, though. Okay, that, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, she can, she's watched a lot of movies. Yep. <laughs> she seems to be a little bit shocked at her own power. <laughs> Throw the sword. That guy got it the easiest. So we got to interrogate, right? Yeah, we got to interrogate. That guy got it the easiest, though. I mean, this is like an invincible dragon fighting random fucking bandits here. Hmm? Oh. Oh. I, did, I underestimated her game. I Okay. Hmm? What if that's her sister? What if that's her sister, actually? No shot, right? What if that's the sister on the bed? No shot, right? 
Oh, also he's talking. Okay, he can't speak still. Not anymore. <sighs> so this girl's gonna join us. Based on the opening, she's gonna be fucking driving the wagon. And she's gonna be basically incest bait. Because she just called us on nature. I see. I see. Okay. Incest. Here we go. It's not incest, but you know. Onichan then. Sorry. Onisama. <laughs> Onicha. <laughs> Fucking animes, dude. Hmm? Something is still suspicious about her, though. Like, she got sent by that other human guy that was looking at us behind the wall. What did she eat? Alright. We can just check the fucking memories of people. I'm just waiting for the enemy to actually explain what she ate. Because you guys are already kind of saying in chat the bodies, the assassin's bodies. But if the enemy didn't say anything, right, it's kind of a spoiler. Yeah, sure, it could be implied, but will the enemy actually say something about it? Did they just skip over it? Okay, so I guess they'll just skip over it. We don't know if she's alive, so there's no need to hurry. I think Makoto's about to get super pissed, but yo, some of the shit that Mio just says is so mean. You know, even like the way that she handled the kid in the beginning, yo, her personality, <laughs> it is absolutely fucking wicked, dude. Like, not in a good way. I don't know. I feel like. We gotta let her cook, but damn, she is fucking mean. And then again, she's like the black spider of death. That's why personality-wise, Emma is the best. I think that Emma is the best waifu, but then it's like, she's an actual pig, you know? So you gotta kind of get over that. <laughs> Design-wise, I like Tomoe the best, best you know? But personality-wise, I think I like Emma the best. If Mio was a little bit nicer. I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping to the gun. It's still only episode four. We'll let it cook. But Emma's actually so nice. Oh. Those eyes again. He did this when he was fighting Mio before. I thought we're young master. Yeah, what? Mind self. Is that a super otaku thing? It's probably like the equivalent of like saying de gozaru at the end of everything, which is like super cringe if you say it in like modern day Japan, right? So this like mind self is probably something along those lines, yeah? <laughs> she should just straight up shave her head and have the shogun haircut, you know? You just have a fucking top knot and that's it. <laughs> nice jiggle. Hasugawa. So this is a character from our school back on Earth, right? So this girl has been also shown in the opening, so she's clearly important. So is Rinoi or whatever that little girl's sister also in the isekai character? This girl also got isekai? This is a girl that we confessed to? Or did she confess to us? I forget. She confessed to us, right? Yeah, I think Shin asked, like, we were telling Shin a story like that before. Well, that's just kind of implying that Hasego is pretty much, like, yeah, reincarnated here. I mean, if we don't have a single friend or acquaintance, now we have it. I thought you guys are our friends, what the fuck? Ouch. Just a normal high school kid. I like it when he's in that intense mood. Like when he actually looks like this, this is a moment in the fight against the spider, right? Against Mio in episode two. He gave this look and I was like, damn actually main character moment then he did like the water bow arrow thing like i hope there's more moments like this where he's actually cold not cgi impressive usually this is but wait i think these houses are cgi though yeah this is cgi 
The brick house is on the right and left of CGI, but the cart is not. Well, I can't really tell. It doesn't look... It looks a little bit jarring here. Something about this looks a little bit too straight here, the lines. I don't know. See, she's already driving the fucking wagon like in the opening. Hmm. What's going on with the sister? What's going on, Reno? Big sis. Other isekai character. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Yo, they are struggling. Yo, Hasuko is not having a good time at all here. Holy shit. If you compare the life that we're living versus her. What are you gonna do with her? And then the guy that we saw in the beginning. Yep, him. What's that tiny little crack? Is that a prison for her? Is it keeping her hostage? What? Treasure short sword. Yo. This looks fucking rough. Now, if this is not... I mean, if you just show me this panel and you ask me, if do you know this anime? I'd be like, this is not a fucking anime. But the short sword... Yeah, look at the eyes, dude. It's fucking dead. But the short sword... Don't we have, like, the same kind of short sword here? Am I, am I tripping? Right? Am, am, I, am I tripping? I swear to God, we have a tiny-ass short sword that we kind of use. It's probably just a coincidence. It's not the same thing, right? I don't know. Oh my God. Yo, what the fuck are they doing to her here? Mio? Tomoe? Mio Tomoe, how did you find her? <laughs> Instantly starts shit talking. Oh, she's pretty weak. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, that transition, that the transition is fucking crazy. Look at this. One frame. Boom, 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 boom. Crazy. It's a spider and a dragon. Oh, she can just fucking melt shit with poison, I guess. Oh, it's him again. But like, he has no idea. Like, oh wait, it's a blonde guy from the bar. But he's level 444. We already talked about this guy in the last episode, you know? It's like, oh, the strongest adventure in this town. Mirus Ace, level 444. Impossible. And then we fucking do our little scanning. Oh no, the leveling, you know, measuring thing is not strong enough. So then we get another next tier. Then we do that again. And it's like, oh, it's just like level 1,003 or something. Like, it, the levels don't matter. But like, I feel like it does matter for these mob characters. The level doesn't matter for Makoto. But for these named characters, you know, I feel like it does kind of matter. No CGI here again. I'm very impressed. They usually always have the cart and the horse on CGI. Huh? This girl only fucking exists to be the token lolly to bait us for the incest, isn't it? Fucking anime and incest, man. It's a ninja. See, that was not smooth at all. How the, that was not smooth at all. Are you even trying to be discreet? <laughs> Those were our own men. <laughs> Strange fruit. Strange fruit. Do we have some kind of fruit in our cart that I'm forgetting about? Something that was important? The only fruit that's important right now in the anime we're watching is Chain Soldier with the peaches. The persimmons? Oh, oh yeah! The, the persimmons from the demon plane, the really like uh, delicious ones. Because of Makoto's memories, you know, that kind of influenced what fruits would, you know, be there, right? 500 gold per each? Holy fuck! You just ex do you just ex like 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 think about it though if if you are like organizing like a, a crime syndicate and you're trying to be very professional and effective about this like does leaving this job alone to like a six year old girl like an eight year old girl that's smarter than you could do 
Like, I understand she's just a tool, but I feel like you can't just expect this girl to just do it by herself, you know? You, you gotta, like, give her, like, a fucking framework, some kind of structure, some steps. Like, you can't just tell her to figure it out. This is, you're not doing yourself a favor, you know? You fucking... This is just stupid. Okay. Not good to hurt all of that though, yeah, because his powers are OP. Oh, improvement. What do you mean? Let's call them out. <laughs> he's probably in with the shitty people here, yeah? Yeah, he's in with them. Oh, he's the boss! Okay! Yeah, the mighty hero is the fucking gang leader of this? Like, what? Yo, Tomoe talks a lot of shit, though. Yeah, they know! You can't fight us! I thought this guy was about to be smart and be like, Oh shit, you've seen our level yesterday. We can't fight her, we need to run away. But then she fucking doubles down. You faked it. Fake news. <laughs> Fake number. You're capping, let's fight? A human like demi human with a horrifying degree of mana appeared in Zetsi. Oh, this is Makoto. Remember? This is the first time he showed up, right? This is the first time he showed up in front of the gate. Remember where he basically has like the aura of like five different demon lords, you know, behind him. And he's like, why, why don't they trust me? And then we come back and it's like, oh, it's because you're you know, exerting your aura like that already, bro. You gotta fucking, you know, just squeeze it back down. Same shit that Rimuru was doing when we came out of the fucking forest with Veldora. Yo, Makoto looks fucking terrifying here. Bounties? You know what we should do? We should turn ourselves in to collect the bounty, then break out. What are they gonna do? And then we should do that again. What are they going to do? It's a fucking infinite money glitch. They know who they're talking about, right? No. Why? He really doesn't know his place. But like, we have so much more money than him already, right? Like, we have so... We're fucking loaded. Like, it doesn't matter. Yes. Oh. You disrespect their young master. And this is the beautiful thing with the level system, us being level one. It creates this like underdog story, even though we're already so terrifying, right? I love this. Uh-oh. Dude, they keep calling us ugly! Makoto's not even that ugly! I mean, alright, I mean, that barrier kind of blocked that punch. Surely we can break it if we actually try, though. Is it that impressive? Alright. It's so mean. Get the fuck out of here, homeless girl. You're bad for the business. Leave. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, it's the fucking guy in the, the hotel receptionist guy. I see, I see, I see. Yes, friend. Not big brother. No weird incesting going on. Stop calling me Onisama. That's right. Just head pats. That's it. Tomo and Mio, can they hold back? I don't think they can hold back. Just bare fist. Mob characters look all of them. One punch. <laughs> they just fucking said, oh my god, clay ages or some shit. That barrier can't possibly exist. This is one of my favorite things in the anime. When the light right from their eyes somehow just like it just like follows it, like the tracing of the beam of the eyes. Something about that's always so cool to me. I don't know when this all started. I think this is like a anime, like an it's like an animation cliche, right? It's not, it's not like a trope. It's like everybody does this. I don't know who started this shit, but I love it. And he's done. Bro, she's playing bowling. I thought you're a samurai. Oh, you sure you want to do that to Mio? Are you sure? What is that? It's just poison aura at them. Yo, he's down. <laughs> Okay, there was no need to do that, but actually, no, he's a piece of shit. He deserved this. Actually, yeah, you can get fucked too. She looked, right? 
And she's like, hmm. I mean, he's already done, but like, I didn't get my punches in. Tomoe took it all. Come on, let's just give him a couple of slaps. <laughs> Looking very nice. Look at this piece of shit go for the fucking short sword. Oh? Wait, what was that? I'm sure it's gonna. I'm sure if I didn't pause, it'll explain. But like, look, look. She just covers his eyes, and then he just like gets engulfed in darkness. Wait. What is this? We just get gangbanged by snakes. Is this a genjutsu? What? Why are you moaning? Why? Why is she? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is crazy. This might be the wildest scene of all. It's it's not even Hasegawa from the beginning scene where she had the fucking mind break tag. You know, like when you see the show that fucking panel to anybody, you would think that it's not a fucking anime panel. What is this? Why is bro? I think we just like awakened a hidden fetish for him. Too. <laughs> look! Look! More demi humans? I wonder if Makoto's gonna get upset that they went too hard, but... I mean, this, this village is pretty corrupt. Are you serious? Bro can't even fucking talk and he's taking her hostage. He's like, I'm gonna tell her What are you gonna do? Here's a double punch again. Mio did a slap there, actually. That was a punch from Tomoe. And there was a fucking slap from Mio. Hasuga was like, what is going on right now? That's right, all this happened because they shit-talked Makoto and called him ugly. They got, they got a good thing going on here. This rivalry between Mio and Tomoe, not just between who whoever's trying to simp for Makoto the most, but like, you know, common cliches like this where you got like Goku and Vegeta, or you have like Gimli and fucking uh, Legolas from Lord of the Rings, where they're more, they're fucking competing against each other and not even thinking about the enemy, right? It's like, no, I'm gonna get more than you. No, I'm gonna do this. And they completely ignore the enemy. I, I love these kind of tropes because like, it's super condescending towards the enemy. It's like, are you even like listening to us? It's like, no, we're doing rock, paper, scissors to see who's gonna fight first. It's this kind of rivalry I do enjoy a lot. That sword caught on fire for a second. I know, it's just the quick trust. I don't know, I thought it was like a fire effect. Yo. I mean, no, she is the invincible dragon. It's not like she needs any fucking training to swing the sword like this, but that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Imagine that all people, <laughs> 5,000 people dead. <laughs> Imagine that one slash just killed so many innocent civilians here. Okay, Shion, we just remember the most recent Tensor episode we watched. Shion did the fucking Buster Sword, you know, slash down. And, and you know, it did the same kind of effect. Shion versus Tomoe. Same sword swing. Who would win? Who would win? Now go crazy in the comments. Fucking people are gonna be like, no, Shion would win. No, actually, Tomoe's here at this power level and fucking do the power scaling. <laughs> The poison vat aura thing, it's not as impactful, right? Because all she does is poison mist and everything just kind of just dies, which is not as impactful as like fucking bato and just like big sword swing. And, you know, I like that way more. <laughs> the town is dead. Don't worry. <laughs> Yo, what are they going to think? Oh my God, they're still going at it. Yo, this town... Everyone just dying here. Well, technically, Makoto did say, this village is kind of a trash place. We need to, like, revamp it, right? We need to, like, cull it. So, we're doing his bidding, right? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Innocent people are all just dying. Oh, it's that little girl again. Big sis. There's still, like, three other people that we saved, too, that's just, like, walking by us. I wonder if they'll be important for us. Is this straight off in the manga? Directly from the manga, probably? Light novel, maybe? She's the same she used to start her too, yeah? Same bus size, too. I mean, the hair... The hair is just like... She doesn't have the side tail, right? She just has this. And in fact, did it... Actually, the sister has the side tail now. Interesting. Interesting.
緊張の糸が切れたのじゃろうさてとこれにて一見落着ですなミオ若か What's you doing? Yeah, I think he's a little bit upset that they just basically leveled the entire town, right? Yeah, I think he's a little bit upset that they just basically leveled the entire town, right? Yeah, I think he's a little bit upset that they just basically leveled the entire town, right? Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? This might be worse than Sid just doing I'm Atomic for no fucking reason. At least that place is evacuated, you know? Uh, are, are, aren't people gonna be super scared of us? They're gonna be like, holy shit, this guy just goes around to different human villages and destroys them. I feel like this is, at the end of the day, that rumor's gonna spread and we're gonna be branded as fucking terrorists. <laughs> that hotel survived, though. <laughs> so we shoot? Where are they flying to, though? Enjoy. Bye-bye. Dude, people are gonna find out. We're gonna be labeled the fucking, like... We might as well be the demon lords, you know? Are we the demon lords, actually? That is the episode, and I'm, I'm starting to realize, like, the, the goddess didn't really give us a mission to do, you know? She just kind of said, fuck you, you're, you're ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna give the tongue of the monsters, bye. And, like, you know, usually it's like, oh, you, Shasama, please kill the demon lord and save the world. But now that we're just going around just terrorizing human villages like this, it's gonna look pretty bad, right? It's gonna look really... I wonder what the goddess is thinking, you know? Not the goddess, but the, the bro, the husbando that gave us all the powers. Would he be proud of us for doing this? I'm not really sure. But another really interesting thing is this girl, Hasegawa. This girl is another reincarnate character. Now, our parents were from this world too, but this implies that, you know, other people are just gonna just pop by more reincarnations. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the last Isekai character we're gonna get, but interesting that she's been, you know, introduced here. What kind of role is she gonna fit? I don't think she can really fight. I'm... There must be a role that they can perform, right? And a really interesting thing is gonna be when these two girls, Tomoe and Mio, realizes that, wait, this new girl that was just introduced, she's actually from Earth and she confessed to our young master before, right? The rivalry will intensify then, but it'll be cool. This little girl, we know, she's as long as they don't try to do weird incest shit with her, she's cute. She can stick around. We can just give her a little high pass. But very funny arc. And I'm just kind of scared for what's going to happen because, again, we are just terrorists now. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.